Yeah. Yeah. Paper here. Making notes. What's this? Uh, Jamal Abdullah Al Amin. Oh, I know what it is. It's Rap Brown. Hey, let's talk. Hey, let's talk about names. Well, let me put a hat on first. Or a revolutionary hat on. That'd be good. Huh. Drink some water. And in my tin cup. You know. I was traveling through um, India, you know. You always should travel with a little cup like that. Mm. And a little, and actually a, a tin plate of tin steel, tin steel cup, steel plate like that. I did this so I can. I had uh, had made a smoothie, uh, whatever. Da, da. Anyway, but when I took the dog out this morning, I did. Just, I took um, some some of that. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, a mango, real ma mango chunks. It was in the frozen thing. I put it in the blender. So by the time I got back an hour and a half with the dog, you know, that would be melted. But I also bought some real mango, you know, <laughs> and, and I uh, and I cut that up into a smoothie that I already had had in there, which had some uh, what do you call it, goat's milk, goat's milk yogurt, and uh, I already had my my turmeric in there. Look at that. I already had my turmeric in there, and uh, mm, I always do that. Forgive me. Having my turmeric in there ready, and uh, I just put some more uh, uh, moringa in there. So this is this is like a lot of mango. There we go. Mmm. Ah, nice. Hey, you know the name I mentioned before. That's that was uh, H. Rap Brown. You know H. Rap Brown. Hey, look. You know H. Rap Brown if I do like this. Da -da, it's like H. Rap Brown. But I was thinking of names. Let's look at names. I got this book up here. You know, that's my grandnephew. Hey. Power to the peoples. <laughs> Always have him looking over my shoulders. So I'd be doing right. Got a book, Trouble in Mind. Uh, Black Southerners in the Age of Jim Crow. Hey, names. Let's look up a name, man. Let's 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 just find a name. Hey, let me leave this alone. Let me leave this alone. Move that out the way. Let's look up because you know what's happening today. Let me look up John Lewis. Now, of course, he wouldn't be in this book, would he? He couldn't be in this book because this is this is a uh, Black Southerners in the Age of Jim Crow. Uh, Jim Crow lasted all the way to the 60s, but I don't know. Let's see what loose they got here. Let's see the L E W I S L E W John. Oh, they got a John Lewis here. 135. They're early on, so this can't be the same John Lewis that they just they just burying right now. 135, 136, 135. Oh, let's see name right here. In a fit of madness, John Lewis recalled he told his landlord. It's no use. I works hard and raise big crops and y'all sells it and keeps the money and brings me more and more in debt. So I will go somewhere else and try to make headways like white like white working men. Hmm. Not the same John Lewis can't be, you know? Because uh, our John Lewis, I say our John Lewis, I mean your John Lewis <laughs> from the, uh, from the, what do you call that? The, uh, you know, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, you know, we were hanging out there with Martin Luther King and them, like that, you know, to get beat up on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. I know that name, Edmund Pettus. He was some kind of racist, something like that, or a proven racist, or, you know, they call racist. Anyway, they have a funeral for him. But, you know, that John Lewis, that, 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 that they had a funeral for that, they got hit on the head in Pettus Bridge and then uh, but had some kerfuffle. I guess, I don't know, it's used a big word there. Not a big word, a strange word. With uh, with uh, Julian Bond, and he became congressman, and then he went to Congress, and and, and everybody loved him in Congress, and yeah. you know. But wait a second, but before wait before the what, he was in SNCC. That's right, he was the he was the first president of the of the of the what do you call SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. And he was the first president. Mm. But then I just mentioned H. Rap Brown. I know this for a fact. H. Rap Brown was the fifth president of SNCC. John Lewis is dead. He was the first one, I guess. Huh? What, what's H. Wait a second. 
Ace Rap Brown. You know where he is right now? He in Arizona. He's a resident in Arizona. So let me see. Let me ask you. John Lewis goes to Washington, D.C. Ace Fresh Brown ends up in Arizona. Okay. Okay. What's, wait a second. What? John Lewis. What was he doing in Washington, D.C.? I'm talking about John Lewis. Uh, he, I, he was kept on reminding people that he got hit over the head and we got to have some kumbaya. We got we to have, what do you call that? Um, um, you know, uh, integration, you know, we got to be fair. We got to be blah, blah, blah. That's what we got to be. H.R. Brown was talking about, hey, you got to tear this sucker down. Hmm. But wait a second. Let's ask, what did John Lewis do outside get hit on the head and, and tell people we got to come together? We got to kumbaya it. What else they do? I don't know. But he got a little funeral. And, and I hear they, they have some, I don't know, somebody, I don't know what they're doing. I, they, I guess they got a horse going, drawing carriage and they're going someplace. Hey, what if, Perhaps that horse drawn carriage should keep on going to Arizona. Because, you know, H. Red Brown's in jail in Arizona. That, that, why would why'd that horse going carriage go all the way to Arizona? Because if they were comrades, they were in the same organization. You know, first president, fifth president, they had the same uh, office, you know, chairman, president, chairman. I don't know what you, he's chairman. Yeah, I think they were chairman. I don't know what they were. But isn't there something that says, no chairman left behind? Did John Lewis all the time that he was uh, supposedly making legislation or whatever have you? I'm sorry, no, he wasn't. Last time I, last time I saw John Lewis, he was, uh, he was doing a sit-in and, and holding arms with Nancy Pelosi and a bunch of other people on, on, the, floor, on the floor there in, in Congress. He wasn't doing no legislation. He was like, you know, he was singing and swaying and, and, and hugging up on on. on Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi with the pheromones. Got to be pheromones because other people be wafting whatever Pelosi say. They be, mm, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, Mr. L Miss Nancy, we going to do this? Yes, Miss Nancy. I think that's what. What happened to no chairman left behind? Why wasn't John Lewis trying to get H. Rap Brown out of jail? Because let's think about this. If it wasn't for H. Rap Brown, then, then basically the... the, the, the this whole kumbaya people that's, that, you know, the, the, they wouldn't have, they nobody would have been listening to them because we forced them, we being, you know, I mean, you know, the, the, yeah, the black power movement forced things to happen. That's how the boy got elected, right? So you figure if you get, if they, people got them elected, I'm talking the same thing for Clarence Thomas, it's like, listen, it's not this, it's whatever. Pastor Connor said he said no. They, they, he pulled himself up by bootstrap. But you know, if it wasn't for the upheavals and the uprisings in the city, then he wouldn't have got he wouldn't have got the education he got, which got him to the, 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 the Supreme Court justice. So all these Negroes aren't they supposed to be getting all them brothers out of jail? And you didn't get the brother out of jail. Your chairman, your fifth chairman, you didn't get out of jail. And we're going to celebrate that. I don't get it. I don't understand. Hey, call me, call me a revolutionary. Call me a soldier. What is it? Colin Powell. Didn't he put that thing in there? No soldier left behind? Well, at least one black person said no soldier left behind. You see? We ain't soldiering on. Something wrong here. Something wrong here. I'm... I'm, I'm letting you know something wrong here. I've been T from the Pattersons taking the train to Japan, letting you know what is exactly what's going on. Not what I suspect, but exactly what's going on. Man, let me blow a booger on, on John Lewis's grave. Thank you.